there's Little Ben, Big Ben, and then there's the All Star National Bank. And the Little Ben. Thanks again once again, and thank you for making it possible. Thanks for coming out to Catch TV 17. That's KTS Channel 17, Radio Central. dot com. That's KTVT Channel 4 Sports. Thanks for coming out to Lee Martinez, Joe Bowling. Thanks a lot, gentlemen, for getting involved in this. And of course, we're back going out to our school board. Our school board sister, President Joe Juan Sunny Palacios. Excuse me, there. Juan Sunny Palacios, our president, vice president, Dr. Martin Castillo, our secretary, Jaime Solis. Our members are Jaime Chavana, Carmen Gonzalez, Robert Peña Jr., David Torres. Special thanks going out to David Torres and Jaime Chavana for the years they've given to our school district, to all the kids here in Edinburgh. Special thanks going out to them. They'll be leaving us in November, so special thanks going out to them, of course, for the years and the time they've given to the city and the school district here in Edinburgh. Special thanks going out also to our superintendent, Dr. Rene Gutierrez. Special thanks going out to him for you know, hooking us up with this, um, with this program with ValleyCenter.com and, of course, letting us work with Catch TV. Also, Assistant Superintendents, Juan Renato Cavazos, Mr. Ron Cavazos, Dr. Maria Luisa Guerra, Eduardo S. Moreno, Dr. Rebecca Morrison, and Dr. Mario Salinas. Good day, Juan Antonio Denver, Assistant Superintendents. Of course, special thanks for not just all of them that make it possible to bring you this action here at Denver Cat Stadium. Also, special thanks going out to Chief Pettis, our captain, uh, Barbera, and all you ECIG employees, uh, Officer Alanis, who's joining us over there by the flagpole. Special thanks going out to him for protecting us here tonight, not only here, but at our school at Flores Zapata. Shout out going out to Flores Zapata people. Also, one more time, uh, a special day for my mom. Happy birthday, mama. And uh, we're getting ready for the action here, second half. Uh, it's going to be right now. It's still the Cougars locked up at 14 with the Raiders of Bronzeville and Nevada. Ladies and gentlemen, we've had a great first half. Uh, we're waiting for Paul to join me up here. Paul's out there with the coaches, uh, talking to the coaches. And uh, we've seen a lot of good action. Uh, first first uh, position for the Raiders came on a three and out. We thought what was going to be, it was going to be first and ten for the Cougars at their own 44-yard line. Great field position, needing only 56 yards to go for a score when uh, we got a flag and it was uh, roughing the punter. So all of a sudden it was first and 10 from the 45. They picked up three first downs and went into the end zone, took over eight minutes of the first quarter and it was the defense on the field the whole first quarter. Uh, the Cougars got the ball for the first time at their 24-yard line, I believe. On the first play, it went 76 yards for a touchdown, and that's added up at seven. Later, with about uh, four minutes left, it was the Raiders who came back and scored again to make it 14-7 on a long drive, and that's when we were thinking the defense was going to get tired. But with only two minutes left, it was the Cougars answering the call, coming back with seconds left, went to the end zone, and then uh, got another big flag. Instead of making it a 10-yard, 20-yard uh, extra point, it turned out to be a 25-yard extra point, and it was good. So that's where we stand right now at 14. Once again, you're listening to Team Donald and Paul. That's Donald Salinas and Paul Osbury. Pablo, what do you got with the coaches, Paul? I did. I have a coach signed. I'll get, to with him, get with you in a minute on, his, on uh, our conversation, but we have to kick off from the Raiders. All right, here we go, Paul. He put his foot into it, a low line drive kick at Bangor's head, fielded cleanly at the five. I don't see any room. He cuts, and he's bragged down right there, don't it? Again, good special teams by the Raiders, uh, you know, to give them no more than the 19, if not the 20. Yeah. And I believe they're spotting the ball, you're right, Paulo, right at the 19-yard line. So it's going to be first and 10 for the Cougars, and, and they'll be going this time be, from the south to the north. Pablo, yes, well, Coach Signs, you know, <laughs> coming out of halftime. Now, Coach Signs is a friend of mine. I've known him for a very long time, probably 30 years. And I asked him, you know, Coach Signs, those, those, those penalties got to be killing you. And I'm not going to say what he said, but let's just say he's very upset. <laughs> <laughs> That's from a coach to a coach. <laughs> you know what? And I'll read between the lines, Pablo. Read between those lines. <laughs> <laughs> if you were typing it, it'd have a bunch of asterisks and stuff like that. Here we go, first and 10 at the 19, Pablo. All right, Cougars have trips on the left. That means they have three receivers. They're going to hand it off to White Tides up the. Oh, it's oh, going to be a cut. It's going to be a read option. Very tricky play where the quarterback reads the defensive end, and he can either give it to the running back or keep it himself, and he obviously kept it himself for gaining three. Gaining okay, three yards. It'll be second and seven. Pablo, que más dijo? Coach Sainz, or what? Well, he said, first of all, he said, Paul, we got to play smarter. You know, and he said that, uh, you know, these guys, most of the players said, we've been here before, you know. And in his words, we're going to see what we're made of. I mean, it's just simple as that. All right. 
There we go. It's going to be a second and seven coming up. 11-22 left in the third quarter. You can see on your beautiful screen from your computer, I'm sure, double twins. Quarterback's going to keep it himself. He breaks outside. He had one man. He had one man to get get around the edge, but give credit. Yeah, give credit to number four. Uh, I'm going to give a name there, Angel Espinosa, for him making a defensive stand. Great job. Espinosa on the tackle there to hold him just to one yard. It'll be a third and six coming up for the Cougars. Quickly, Pablo. I mean, the momentum. You you got to keep it on your side right here. So uh, I think we need a, at least at those least chains. a first down. I see some shirts out there, don't it? <laughs> awesome. Move those chains. Well, not, not yet. I'm, I'm sorry to say that. But <laughs> we just see some shirts out there. You're right about that, don't it? Cougars would love to get a first down and maintain their drive. He lobs it up in the air. It's a very poorly underthrown ball. Intercepted by the Raiders. And just like that, good job by Edward Velasquez. That was a don't it. We could have picked that off. Yeah. Uh, I thought we were dove hunting. It's not until Saturday. Yeah. Yeah. Saw, that looked like a wounded dove. Yes, sir. So, nevertheless, it's going to be a turnover, first turnover of the game for the Cougars. They're going to give the ball to the Raiders at their own 47-yard line. Pablo, tell me, is that good field position? It is for the Raiders. And that play, that's called a fade and a, a, a poorly thrown ball. A good thrown ball means it's thrown over the left shoulder of that receiver. So, in other words, the only one that has a chance to catch it is a receiver. But Unfortunately, he threw it over the right shoulder, and he gave the DB a chance. All right, here we go. First and 10 ball at their own 47-yard line. It's going to be a run off the left side. He's got a little bit of a hole. Got some decent blocking, and I'll tell you what. Some good blocking seven yards later. It's second and three. All right, second and three coming up, and 10-25 uh, left in the third quarter, ladies and gentlemen, just in case you're joining us late. I'm Donald Salinas. To my right is Paul. It's Team Donut and Paul bringing the action from Edinburgh Cat Stadium. Right now, it's the Edinburgh North. Cougars 14 and the Brownsville Rivera Raiders locked up at 14. Here he goes. You're right about that, Donut. Locked up. We got a good a battle. If you're the Cougars, you're obviously looking at twins to the left. Looks like the Cougars are coming out of the blitz. And they almost got there. And they disrupted the play. The blitz didn't make the tackle, but he disrupted the play. And we're looking at a loss of one, Donut. Lost of one, so it's going to be third and five coming up. That's a chance you take, though. That was a blitz, and the blitz hit the point of attack. Time, of, time out on the field. We got a man down. That's a Raider down. Hopefully everything's going to be fine. He got hit, Paulo. I mean, I, I don't think he knew he was going to get hit that quick, but he got hit quick. So uh, we have a man down on the field. Where we, uh, right now, Paulo, let's thank some people that are making this possible for not only uh, Valley Central to look good, but to let the people know who's bringing it to you. Who is bringing it to this us? This is Cat TV. In the house. KTN, My daughter. Channel 17. It's going to be the students working it tonight. Gilberto Cavazos. We got Adrian Cuellar. We got Jeffrey Garcia. Jacob Garza. We got uh, Michael Montalvo. Luis Montamayor. Isaiah Navarro. Miguel Nuno Gutierrez. Michael Russell, Leroy Torres, Cesar Vasquez, and Raul Villarreal bringing it to you. Also, They're doing a great job. of course, Julio Camacho up here. Julio Howie, Susan Smith, and always Martin Torres, Mr. Cat TV, no? Yes, sir. All right. Cat TV himself. Again, that's the people that's bringing it to you at home, ladies and gentlemen, anywhere around the world. Tune in to ValleyCenter.com, and of course, Cat TV will bring it right to you. Good call, Donna. Give credit where credit is due. They're doing a great job. You know, if you're able, to, you're able to watch or listen on your computer screen at home. This is all due to Cat TV through Channel 4's news, and I'll tell you what, they're doing a great job, Donna. Here we go, 35 coming up. We're under nine, nine and a half left in the third quarter. Motion, it's a big play for Rivera. Motion bringing it into the, another back in the backfield. It's a play action pass. He does have time. He has a man open in midfield, and he makes the grab. Well, we, he, Are they going to give him a complete? It? Are they going to call it a fumble? They're calling it a complete pass, and he was down. If you look on your screen, you thought maybe the ball came out. It did, but he was already well, the, Did he happen? He, he may, it may have been the wrist. You know what I mean? I think he did because he caught it. He, had, he was able to make a football move. He turned, all right. He was able to turn, make a football move. In other words, he had time, you know, to, to potentially do something about it. So that's that's the... That's the, the, the golden standard for the referees in a call Okay, like now let's just take some time and say, Oh, move, move those, those chains. chains. Oh, boy. Oh, no, that is sweet. Oh, I see. We see some shirts <laughs> down there. Awesome. Looks like we're going to have a dive up the, up the left side. And great job by the Cougar defense. We'll give no him more. Two. You're going to give him two. I'm going to give him one and a half. All right. One and a half given by Paolo and Charlie. We miss you, man. We need you here tomorrow. We need those .72, .34. Initial contact but, uh, Cougars, again, ladies 12, and gentlemen, thank you. Clark Nabhanda. Hey, Michelle Sparks and Israel Silva. You know what's going on here at the, at the field? 
thirsty. They just simply better. <laughs> simply better. I All like right. that, don't it? Second and nine coming up for the Raiders. Eight and eight twenty left and counting in the third quarter, which they're locked up at fourteen. Two receivers to the left. Two receivers to the left. High right, formation. That's going to be on the uh, offense, don't it? Boo -boo. Now there's a lot of movement, ladies and gentlemen. The defense can can move up, kind of basically move all they want, as long as they don't touch somebody or cause them to jump outside. That uh, that motion, illegal procedure is in the backfield, and so nothing, uh, nothing uh, those guys can do about it. They're gonna call that penalty every time. All right, second and 14 coming up. It'll bring them back five yards. They're at the Cougar 37 yard line, 8, 10, and County left in the third quarter. Once again, in case you're just joining us, it is right now the Cougars 14, the Raiders 14. It's Team Donut and Paul bringing the action from Edinburgh, Cat Stadium. Looks like twins left, bunch to the right, but the formation coming across. It's going to be a play action pass. He's being pressured. He's got room to run if he wants to keep it, and he tosses it. And, uh, you know, I'm not sure. We're up here in the booth. Uh, could have shoot it, would have, but I'll tell you what, good play by the quarterback. Because uh, if it's not, it's not caught, then it basically he threw it out of bounds. And uh, good job. New shot going out to Coach Salas. Raul Salas tuning in. Coach, hope you enjoy the game. See you tomorrow, buddy. The you. Talk to you tomorrow. Coach Salas. Uh, good, to see, good to see you, man. Hey, last year's eighth grade A champs. Well done. Got to give the football. Got to give credit to Coach Salas for squeaking into the championship over there. Been a well-coached team over there. They're eighth grade A champs. That's the top of the heap right there. Three years? Took them only three years? Yes, sir. Very Gemma quick. Skiris. That's all. Gemma Skiris, the district <laughs> champs. Salas. All right, he's got plenty of time. He's got room to run. He decided to throw it. He has a goal. Oh! Dangerous. Play. Uh, don't stick your head in it. <laughs> Bam. Did he have time to throw? He had, he had lots of dinner. He had lots of time, and the secondary had lots of time to cover that guy as well. And he, he got had more time than we do at lunch. He had, yes, sir. We have a little 30 minute lunch. He had 35 minutes to throw that ball, just about. So get credit to the Raiders off at the line for giving him time. Uh, and also credit to the secondary for closing in on that pass. Uh oh, here we go. Look, Cougars got themselves a stop, right? Big stop. Yes, sir. Oh, Second good. punt. Fourth no, down. Hold on. So uh -oh. Uh -oh. Hey, hey, hey. You saw what happened. Oh, high punt, but he takes his time. A nice, soft kick. Great special teams play. That's how, that's how you do it right there, don't it? Right. Just a good nice, job. soft kick down to the tip. So you got 90 yards to go. That's good. That's a good field position for the Cougars. It's not good if you're a Cougar. Great play there. Great punt. That's what the Cougars should have done last time when nobody was back there. Nobody was back there, don't like it? that, it would have put them back deep in the end zone. They would have them into the end zone, and they started at the 20. So it's going to be first and 10 from their own 10-yard line. They got 90 yards to go. That's a long ways. And again, special teams. Right now, we're giving the special teams advantage to the Raiders. The special team is the third. All right, they've been, they've been so looping. far, so yes, sir. All right, looks like Cougars got a bunch of receivers out there. Three to the left, and one to the right. It's one of my daughter's friends right there. All right. And he goes, he's got a man in the middle on the outside. If he makes a catch, he does. He's got, he's got him on his heels. The 30, he goes out of bounds. I'll tell you what. That is how you catch the ball, ladies and gentlemen. We're going to replay in a minute. All right, oh, my God. Michael Kazu has got glue on his hands because that is a gorgeous pass to the outside. That's a streak where the guy, the outside receiver, basically runs down the sideline. And look at the replay. Oh, shoe string catch. And get all you can. Great job, Technique. He has the ball in his left hand. Keep it away from the defender. Great job all around by hey, Cougar. Marvin, sorry I forgot but from... Uh, from uh, Michael Cano again, Grandma Sofia Reyes. Grandma Sofia Reyes, sorry I forgot to send a shout out, but I am sending it now. On the Cano family, I hope you enjoy the game. Keep watching and keep on tuning in when you want to see your grandkid, Michael Cano, Michael do some good playing here for the Cougars. Shout, shout out, out to shout the Cano family. Let's look at a little quick screen to the right. If you're the Cougars, a little to the right. That's basically a glorified pitch. You're just giving it very quickly to the outside receiver in space. If you ever hear in the NFL, you know, give it to him in space, that means that's probably usually to a player that's quick and fast. And you want to give it to him where he's got room to maneuver just as so they try to do on that play. Good job for the Raiders defense. All right, second and 10 coming up on at the 22-yard line. That is of the Raiders. Okay, Cougars got a bunch of receivers out there, as you can see on your screen. It's going to be a pass. They're blitzing. He has time. He throws it up. Oh, way too far. And it's a little bit, of, and it's a good thing he overthrew it because great coverage by the Raiders as he was double teamed and he did all he could to overthrow him. Good job. Our kids ball defense are, are you know, 
They're impressing me tonight. And even though they're giving up some big plays, uh, what, you know, the game in between those big plays has been great from the, both sides of the defense. It, it definitely, we're definitely in a battle. Uh, both teams definitely are kind of even match at this time now. You could say that the Raiders have been, are, are in this game, but for some mental mis miscues by the Cougars. But uh, we do have the Cougars driving. They are in field goal range. You've already saw him hit a 35-yard extra point. So he's already in range doing it. Trips to the left. He's made pressure by the defensive end. He's on the screen in the middle. He's got plenty of blockers. He's got one man to beat. On the 10, the 5. Knocked out at the 4. Some great blocking and a very good play call. So for the Cougars, move those chains and drop them chains. Got to love those shirts, Paul. That looks good. See I took a picture, don't I? I did. You took a picture? Mm -hmm. right. send, yes. it, send it to Ms. Avila. Send that to Ms. Avila. I'll tell you, and a uh, great play, good play call on that one because, again, you uh, use the momentum of the defensive line. You let them come upfield. You let them come upfield, which opens space in the middle. Dump it to your running back, which they did. Uh, great play calling by the Cougars. Should we say uh, I'm the number just out in the air? <laughs> no, sir. Okay, we won't do and that. And it's going to be off the left side. White side's got, he walks in. Touchdown, Cougars. He walked in untouched. Well, look at that field position, Pablo. Look at 90 yards. Look at this and that. Well, good. A bomb down the sideline. I'll take care of that. <laughs> so quickly, ladies and gentlemen, with 622 left in the third quarter, it is now Enbrook North Cougars 20, Brownville Rivera Raiders 14, and we're going to wait for the point after Pablo take us through it. Diego Sanchez going through his routine. What he does is he lets the holder know that he's ready, and the holder lets the center know that's the chronology of events. The, the, the kick is up. Looks good from here. Extra point, Cougars. A great drive by the Cougars. Uh, you know, great drive in that it was just really a few plays. A nice bomb down the middle. Uh, outstanding catch by Michael Condu. You know, it was a shoestring catch, you know, fingertip grab. And great job for him to not only catch the ball, but excellent technique on it where he, he put the ball in his left arm, which is great technique, and he was able to keep the ball away from the defender. And even a better throw by the Cougars, though. Just like that, it's 21-14. So the Raiders were kind of feeling good about things, and all of a sudden, the Cougars are up by a touchdown. So here comes the Raiders. This time, their defense is probably a little bit tired as they're ready to receive the kickoff as Cougars have just, just driven it down their throat and have taken the lead, 21-14, don't it? Hey, Paulo, thank you for taking over right there, Paulo, of everything. The whole show ran by Paul Osbury. Don, I got your back, brother. Hey, Miss uh, Avila says... You're crazy saying my number out loud on the air. It's something, something, something. Something, 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 something. Don't, don't, don't. <laughs> Mar -wa, Mar -wa, Mar -wa, she says, hey, Mar -wa, Mar -wa, Mar -wa, thanks, and she says they're enjoying the show. Amen. Hey, if you're calling Donut, and people are telling you that, you're saying? Oh, we're saying, get my skin. Thank you, Donut. Let me take that, brother. All right, here we go, ladies and gentlemen. So with 6.22 left in the third quarter, it is now the Cougars over the Raiders by the score of 21 to 14. Pablo, we might get going to a 3 0 start at Cat Stadium. Another pooch kick, which means high. It is not fair caught. Very dangerous by him. And great return. Great job by the Cougars as they almost caught him off guard, don't it? Uh, in other words, see, that guy's not used to receiving the kickoff, so there, there's, a, there's a propensity to bobble the ball, uh, and that's a chance they took. Uh, that, they won that chance right there. Yep, so Conley, first and 10, they'll start at their own 20 yard line. Not bad field position, not the best, but uh, yes. right now. Kimberly Morgan, you say hello. Yeah, a little shout out going out to Morgan from your friends here at Edinburgh Cat Stadium from Kimberly. Yes, from Kimberly. <laughs> Shout out going out to all the, uh, the Nardo family. Here we go. Looking at two receivers to the right. It's going to be a sweep to the left. He's got plenty of blockers. If he bounce it outside, great job by the Cougar defense. Oh, they thought they, they could had be a fumble. The ball on the sweep to the left side. Soul guards will give credit. Uh, Soul guards didn't make the tackle, but what he did was he attacked from the outside. He forced the run to go inside, and when you force the run to go inside, don't it? You run to the pursuit, and you basically, you basically run usually in right there. It's a good job to sell the girls. And we're here at nothing but guards tonight. This is I got out to my good friend Santana Garza and his family, Sandra and the gang. Hey, there's Joe Boning. You know you're gonna get some four action sports right here. He's at the 20 yard line, follow with his camera. I see him. Oh, I see him. He'll get some action shots on tonight's sports. He's got the camera in his hand. It's a sweep to the right. He's got a little hole. Oh, great job. That's a nifty, uh, nifty run. I give credit to the offensive line 
And the uh, tight end. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. Yards, so it's going to be one more time for the Raiders. Yeah. Move those chains. That's good blocking, though. And 32, Joey Benitez. Comes up. Oh, I'm sending it to you because I can't, I can't send that number if it's, it's, uh, it's uh, a contact. It's going to you, Dota. We got a great picture. We got some people with some move those chains. <laughs> Steve Dota and Paul shirts in the bleachers right in front of us. Yeah. Here we go, Paul. It's going to be first and 10. Ball at the 40 yard line. 5 12 and County left in the third quarter. We've got a good at third quarter moving. Oh oh, 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 Speaking of moving, he took off. So he long. moved a little bit. A lot. A lot. Before oh. he said, I, I can't wait. Uh, so that's going to be a legal procedure. In other words, the offense certainly cannot go until the ball is snapped or certainly not can't go forward. And that's what we just have. So give, give the Cougars. Uh, five free yards are basically negated on the Raiders. So just like that, first and 15, uh, catch, Cougar catching a little break. Cougar's looking at two receivers to the right. That's the wide side of the field. All right, here we go, Pablo. And it's going to be a dive off the left side. There's a bit of a hole. There's some good blocking. That's a great little run. I'll tell you yeah, what, that is a good block. Yeah, yeah, sure, that's down. some good blocking. They're attacking the tackles, the ball, which is uh, basically the second alignment the ball, you know, on either side of the center, and they're having success tonight. They needed 15, and then they got 10 or 11, so looking at a second and four as the Raiders are driving the ball. Here we go, Paul. It's going to be a they They're going to try to answer the call. They've been scored on. They're going to try and score themselves. Twins to the wide side of the field. And it's going to be a dive again right at the tackle, don't it? And they are finding some success. Except Garza. Uh, Garza, another Garza, big Saul. <laughs> Saul in the house. Let me tell you, once Saul Garza gets a hold of you, you're done, right? He's got some hands. Oh, Santana. Santana, he's got some hands. He's shaking his head and he's touching your elbow? Yeah. <laughs> hey, you know, I can figure it's going all the way around. What's going on? <laughs> big ranch hands right there. Are you there, hugging me or are you saying hi? Yeah. yeah. What is that? Uh, so I thought I could hug you with you know, he, he can grip a football and his finger don't touch it on the other side. You're like, what's going on here? <laughs> All right, ladies and gentlemen, it comes a big third down play for the Raiders. 340 left and still the Cougars 21. The Raiders 14. Thank you for tuning in. You're hearing Team Donut and Paul. Here you go. Motion across the formation. It's going to be a play action pass. He's got oh, a good block. He's got a little bit of time. He finds a man up in the middle, right in the void. Oh, oh yeah. Oh, oh, oh. Right past the linebackers, but in front of the secondary. That is a five, and they picked up 15. So one more time. Move those chains. Thank you, sir. All right, it'll be first and ten. Quickly, the Raiders are in Cougar territory. They sure are, don't it? The uh, Raiders have mounted a quite a bit of a drive, a nice, sustained, long drive. And the Cougars, I don't know, I hope they're not getting tired again because this is another long drive. It wear, uh -huh. It's a wear and tear on the defense. It's going to be a run off the left oh, tackle. Right there, right? Oh. There's another oh. hole oh. again. It's right tackle, left tackle, right tackle, left tackle. And a gain of six or six and a half. Six yards it? picked up on the play, making a yeah, second and four. Paul, they had him for a one-yard loss. Brought down by 50 You're right about Brian that. And the problem with that, though, and a little technique here is, is that as a player, if you come, if you attack out of control, uh, then the other player basically just make a move on you. What you need to do, don't at the, at the moment of impact, is you slow down, you gather yourself under control, and you make a controlled tackle. That way, you don't, you know, you're not out of control, and that's exactly what happened on that play. All right, here we go. Second and four coming up. Looks like a corner blitz, and they're going off tackle again, don't it? Left tackle. That's a second run in a row where they have attacked. The left tackle looks like the second day, the defensive coordinator for the Cougars is going to need to make an adjustment because they're really attacking the left side of the, uh, the offensive line, a def a right side of the defensive line. Don't it? All right, one more time. Move those chains. The Raiders are coming back, moving the ball, answering the call. They just got scored on, and it, they're already knocking on the door. They're at the 23-yard line of the Cougars, first and 10. I see it. There you go. Left tackle. Left tackle again, don't it? And he gets outside. Ladies and gentlemen, if you're able to watch a replay or watch on your screen, I want you to notice the tailback. He kind of dipped in and went out. What he's trying to do is what he wants to do is go outside. That's where the yards are. And that by virtue of his little fake, he faked out that corner and he got a few more yards. Again, off the left tackle. Pick up of eight yards. It'll be second and two coming up. Ball is being spun at the 15-yard line. Pablo. What a game, man. It's a good one because it looks like the Raiders are thinking of answering the call right now. They're definitely driving it down their throat. They're definitely a field goal range, if nothing else. Second and two, quarterback in the eye. I means you have two receivers right behind him. It's ideal for a run, and it, in fact, is a run. Oh, it's a quarterback yep. keeper. 
Very tricky play, because, yes, sir, good play, Donut. All you need is two yards, and he ended up getting seven or eight. Danny so they're going to move those line chains line and drop them chains. chains. Tyler right. on the field. Uh, Great play call by the coach. called a Ooh, naked, naked bootleg. That's where the uh, – there is no blocking. There's nothing set up for the quarterback. The only way that play works is if the uh, – the, uh, the, uh, the other side of the defense is undisciplined. In other words, they follow where they think the ball is. Every player going on defense has a designated area where you attack. And if you leave your area, that's the void. And the coaches took a chance. They said, you know what, it's going to be open. It was. And Pablo, right here we have a timeout by the, by the Cougars, and they want to talk this over. They're just getting run over. Uh, big plus as uh, ex-defensive coordinator for Coach Science to be talking to the defense side. Well, you know, he commands, he commands more respect than just defensive coordinator because although he's a head coach, he's not the D.C. by position, he is the head coach. So right. when the head coach talks, you listen. Right. So he's obviously taking it upon himself to, to fire up the defense, as you can see on your screen. And I should know this, but who is our defensive coordinator now? Uh, taking over the offensive of coaches, let's see here. It's uh, Franz, Coach Frank Franz. Oh, he was their secondary coach for many years. Ah. He actually coached professional football. He coached for the Arena League. What was the uh, the Dorados? The Dorados. Yes, yeah. sir. And he has um, taken on. He came uh, over in the secondary many years ago and is now the defensive coordinator for the Cougars. All right, here we go. It's going to be first and goal first from goal the seven yard line for the Raiders. They're looking to tie this game up right now. It's the Cougars up 21 to 14. This is where they've been running off the left tackle all day. Play action pass. Blitz up the middle. He's got the edge. He got a little bit of room and a great tackle as he got the edge. I hope there's not another injury, but again, any offensive player, whatever they're able to get outside on it, they're able to get away from the pursuit and they're able to run in space. And that's exactly what he did. And that's quite a big, quite a good game. All right, pick up five yards. It'll be second and goal. Ball being spotted at the two yard line. We're down to 105 left in the third quarter. That's a quick third quarter, Pablo. It is. They're running the clock because obviously they're running, running, running. You know when they run the ball, the clock oh, continues to run. Were you really thinking of throwing the ball there, or were you just going to run it? Because they've been running the ball. Why pass it? Uh, why? Time out. What is it, bro? Time out again. Time out again. Uh, the Cougars. Coach Zane is off. very upset. Cougars. I think what happened, I can see, is they had a mystery with the player substitution. They did not have the guys that went in there. Eight, nine. There you go. <laughs> that can't it. be That'll good. Be call 11 versus 9, Don. I'm going to say 11 has the advantage. I'm just saying. What happened, ladies and gentlemen, was the defense realized that they had two guys that were supposed to be on the field that were not. So uh, uh, it looked to me that those looked to be linebacker secondary guys. So each position coach is responsible, don't it, during a game for counting their players. If, let's say you're the secondary coach and you realize you count, you see you realize you have a guy missing. You inform the coach or the defensive coordinator and you work it out. It looks like that time one of the coaches was asleep at the wheel. Yeah, well, you have not one, but two players missing. That'll make you call a timeout. Now, Paul, the bad thing about it is we're down to one timeout, and we're just in the third quarter. And again, a mental error. You know, it is what it is. You could call, you can call it many ways. Bottom line is, you know, just like a plane. You know, plane crashes. It's usually pilot error. You know what? That's coach error. All right. But knowing them and knowing Coach Signs, I'm sure they're going to work it out together. You know, you, you know, you, you have a championship team. No yeah. matter who takes over, these these Cougars know how to win. Yeah. And they will. They They've will deal with there. adversity. They will. They've been there. Here we go. It's going to be third and goal. Second and goal, I'm sorry, ball at the two-yard line. They picked up five yards. They were at the seven. And they're making second, second and goal from the two. Pablo. It's going to be off the left tackle once again. But this time, they stuffed it. They're a left tackle. That's probably yeah, a little, rather, uh, the ball maybe carrier. five out of six runs. They're attacking the uh, right it's side of the Cougar defensive line. This time, no more than a yard. But well, something is working, usually you don't want to change it, do you? No, sir. Why not? I mean, why? All right, it's going to be third and goal. Ball being spotted inside the one-yard line. Last time, Cougars were in the same position. A little trickery did a play-action pass, but a man extremely wide open. Uh, so no telling what, what the Raiders are going to come up with. I say quarterback's going to keep it. I think they're in a run formation. We're going to find out here in a minute. It, in fact, is a dive off the right side, and he's going to be in. Touchdown, Raiders! So with 24 seconds left in the third quarter, now it's the Raiders getting into the end zone. So it's going to be right now Raiders 20, Cougars 21. Point after coming up, Pablo, you're going to take us to that. You got it, brother. What a game, Pablo. A very good game, certainly for the fans on both sides. Yeah, for both sides. For the fans, for everybody. Everybody, everybody the players, the and the phone, wherever they're home and how. I hope you're doing the game because we are over here. Mars, wherever. This is Marcos. And San Marcos, Lori, Lori still out there, there, tuning in all the way from San Marcos. If you are still listening, Lori, we appreciate that. See you next weekend. Signal to the snapper. 
It looks like a good hold. The kick is up. Extra point, Raiders. So with 24 Extra seconds, once good. again, we're locked up. We're locked up at seven. We're locked up at 14. Now we're locked up at 21. The Raiders, 21. Woo, we do have ourselves a ball game, ladies and gentlemen. And I'll tell you what, uh, I'm sure it's eating up Coach Sign because there's a couple of men, little mental miscues that have kept the Raiders in the game. Now, now that doesn't, you know, there's no such thing as a penalty giving you a score. The Raiders had to earn it, but I'll tell you what, it was, uh, they got some help, don't it? Yeah. And again, you know, these, I mean, that's what these games are for. Even though you want to win every, every preseason game, just, you know, for the momentum itself, you know, of your kids believing they can win, it's a big plus. But at the same time, it's to iron out these mistakes that the Cougars have. Uh, if you ask me, it's, it's the Cougars making more mistakes than the Raiders right now. You're, you're definitely right about that. And also, the Raiders are, have an advantage on their special teams. They really put it to them. Uh, you can call it kind of even Steven on offense and defense, but... The Raiders have the edge in special teams, and they have the edge in mental miscues. I'm, see, I'm seeing uh, Sam Garza on the sideline. That boy's big, man. Well, you know, brother. Uh, that boy is big. And his brother is who? Uh, Saul is playing at linebacker. Saul Garza, another Garza, playing at number 12. Uh, another great kid and an excellent football player. I guarantee you he's tough as nails, brother. <laughs> so he got number 12 and 99? Oh, yes, oh, sir. Oh, my God. Todo Garzas? Todo Garza? Todo Garzas? Tackle Garza, catch Garza, two Garza, throw Garza. <laughs> the Garza show. Yes, Here we sir. go, 24 seconds left in the third quarter, ladies and gentlemen. We're at 21 Cougars, 21 Raiders. We have one quarter and 24 seconds left to go. Good kick, nice and high. Going to be fielded cleanly at the four. Let's see what kind of special teams magic we come up with for the Cougars. And he has swarmed again. Very good special teams coverage by the Raiders to give him no more than the 25. So they got 75 yards to go. Great job by the Raiders. Yards to go. So, and Paul, the, the, that field position ain't bad I mean, for what they were getting earlier. But when they got the good field position for some sort of mistake or something, they weren't getting it there. Something would happen. So we'll see if they can go 75 yards. They got a long ways to go, and 21-21. So you know both teams can put some points on the board, uh, but it, it is definitely a defensive struggle at the exact same time. Cougars come out of the sideline looking at double twins. It means two receivers left and two receivers to the right. The Raiders looks like they're in a pass defense. For some reason, they're expecting pass, and it is a pass. They got a blitz at the screen. It's almost an interception. I don't know how he caught it, but he did. White sides is quick and tough. That was pretty much almost a loss of five turned into a loss of one. White sides, I'll tell you what, his ball was hot, baby. They had to fight for that ball, and it was the Cougars coming up with the ball. He probably got back to last year. So that's going to take us to the end of the third quarter, ladies and gentlemen. I'm Donald Salinas. Two more right balls, bro. You're listening to the team. Donut and Paul here in Hanford, Kansas City. The pitch effects going out. Of course, you catch TV 17. That is KATS Channel 17, also Valley Center, which is KGBT Channel 4, doing the screening for us here at Edinburgh Cat State. The special thanks going out, of course, to our board of trustees. That's President Juan Sonny Palacio, our Vice President, Dr. Martin Castillo, our Secretary Jaime Solis, and our members are Jaime Chavana, Carmen Gonzalez, Robert Peña Jr., David Torres, and special thanks going out to David Torres and Jaime Chavana for the job they've done for our one did it for eight years, one did it for 12 years. That's a lot of years of, of time away from your family and meetings and, and conferences and so on. Uh, they became the state board last year. I got the prestigious state award. State champs if you're a school state board. State champs if you're a board member. And that was great. So special thanks going out to Mr. Chavana and Mr. Torres. Here we go, Pablo. Cougars have three receivers to the wide side of the field. And it's going to be a play action pass. He's got a little bit of time. He throws it deep. It's got, he got a man, and he drops the ball. It was, you know, he was definitely a lot of traffic, don't it, but yeah, I, I, it hit him in the gut. That's not, that's not as easy as catching a ball when you just use it and catch it. Also, also he, he knows there's some people moving in on him. He knew he was going to get hit. <laughs> right in front of him, right in front of him. Perfect angle knew that if I catch it, I'm going to get hit as soon as I catch it. So, so it was a good try, a good pass. We have a flag on the field. I see yellow. There's a flag I see on the some play. laundry over there on the far side of the field. They're going to decline the call. It was against the legal man downfield against the uh, the Cougars. It's been declined by the coaches on the Raiders side. So it's going to keep it at a third and ten. Ball still at the 25-yard line. Now, Donut, do you want to explain what that is? Illegal man, what does that mean? The, 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 the people can't just run where they want? Well, you can't have us running down for the ball. Ah, okay. So you're saying the offensive lineman, Donut, 
Oh, the offensive line, you know, they cannot advance more than two yards past right. the line of scrimmage on a pass or any play pass. that is thrown beyond the line of scrimmage. I, I don't want to get too technical, folks, but no. so what you had was a lineman just got a little bit too excited. Yeah, he got way too much on a field. play like that where it takes a long time, you know, for it to develop, and they just take off. Yes, sir. Third and ten coming up. Here we go, Pablo. It's trips and split. He's got time. He may keep it. He can't throw. We have a flag. It might be holding, yeah. but he so definitely, he was thinking of throwing it, but he had no time. Again, we might have another decline if it's a holding because this will bring up a fourth and call it 12 or 11. I'll tell you what. the call? Holding. Offense. Penalty decline. Fourth down. That's right, Donut. There's no need to take him back and give him another chance because it's, it's fourth and ten in their own territory. You know they're going to punt. A uh, great job, very wise decision defense by the Raiders. Again, man. You know, the defense are, I mean, I'm impressed by these defense, both sides of the field. The only thing is, is you know, they're both giving up some big plays. But uh, other than that, it's been a good football game here tonight. Yeah, a very good football game here tonight, don't it? A good defensive battle. And the snap is up. It's a very good, it's a very good uh, snap. A wobbly kick. It should be fair caught, but it's not. And it takes a cougar hop. Let it go, guys. Let it go. Get all you can. Great job. Let it go. Yeah, I I let it go. <laughs> let it go. That's a song. No, for real. Over for real. no, let it roll. <laughs> let it rock. All right, so it's going to be first and ten for the Raiders. They'll have the ball at their own, call it the 36-yard line. Not bad field position, Pablo. Uh, not bad for the Raiders, you know, starting at the 36. You know, you do the math. It's what, 54, 64, 54? 54. <laughs> Just testing your math, brother. What do you got? We got. Oh, the nice. Shoe. Where'd you get those? Oh, Where'd you get those, John. Oh, uh -huh. I know where you got those. Thank you, Oscar. <laughs> a little gift from Oscar, a friend of mine, Oscar Salinas. Awesome. Here we go. And the pass is up. He's got a man on the sideline. If he's got oh, the road. Out of bounds. Out of Speaking of Oscar out of Salinas, bounds. he's going to be running for school board. He's on those cats, number seven, Christopher Godoy. It'll be second and ten coming up for the uh, Raiders. Let's, let me see. We got 11:29. That'll stop the clock. So uh, and they get the catch, don't it? No, out of bounds. Okay, out of bounds. I didn't know if he had uh, had room. And uh, modern day rule. He out of room. He tried. To, I mean, he didn't even have time to look down and see. Oh, I'm not gonna make it. Yeah. So he tried to go up in there, but he was still gonna land out of bounds. So it's gonna be a second and ten. We still got 11:29 left in the game, folks. All right. Again, true to the Raiders' formation, they have two guys to the wide side of the field. It's gonna be a run. Off the right tackle, he's got a little bit of room. Oh, oh. He had a little bit of room, we got a penalty. Don't know what it is, it could be a face mask. No, it is a face oh, mask. Oh, you saw it, don't it? Yeah. I, I wasn't sure. Uh, I, the only reason I could tell is because his head was turned up in this, <laughs> was turned in the direction. He was, running, he was running north and <laughs> he was looking south. <laughs> that's, so that's how you could tell. <laughs> a little cartoon action. Uh, Donut is correct, the former referee can spot that a mile away. Good call, Donut. Oh, oh. so it's gonna be another 15 yarder, that's five. That's five. What That's are they doing over there, doing with those chains? They're going to move, move those, those chains. chains. All right, they're moving it one more time for the Raiders. And Raiders, all of a sudden, they're at the Raiders Cougar 46-yard line. Ah, another break for the Raiders or another mental, uh, you know, mistake for the Cougars. Uh, bottom line, it's first down on the uh, Raiders uh, Cougar territory. He bounced it outside. This time, ooh, be careful. <laughs> this time, you can tell a little bit of frustration by the Cougars. They are really upset right about now. And they just they gave it to that running back. The game no more of one. Lost one. Lost one. Lost the one. Don't Lost the one. It'll be second and 11 coming up. We're under 10, 45, and County left in this ball game. It's still Edinburgh North Cougars 21. Franjo Rivera Raiders 21. You're listening to Team Donut and Paul. Wow, DP. DP, Dr. Pepper, Donut, and Paul. Here we go. Got twins to the left side of the field. You're covered. That's going to be a pass. He doesn't have much time, but he's got enough time to throw it. You got a safety over there. Oh. And he was not able to make the catch. Oh, a great good. job by the secondary. Uh, give credit to Andy Solis for breaking up that play. It was almost a pick as where the safety, I mean, the quarterback trying to find a void in the coverage. Okay, uh, Paul, here we go back to the play you call uh, break it. But don't bend it or bend, 11, but don't bend, bend, but don't break it, but don't bend it. What? Okay. <laughs> break it, but don't break it. Right, so, we're <laughs> so we're gonna we, we want it to bend, but don't break. Here we go. Right. Third and eleven coming up. Big play for the defense. Big play for the offense. A little confusion by the Raiders. That's already advantage Cougars. 
The snap is up. There you go. Time That's out. what I'm talking Time about. Time out. Already advantage Cougars on the play. Whenever you have, uh, you know, a, a mental disruption like that, good job for the Raiders. Again, I am very impressed. Uh, with the Raiders coaches because that's the right call. Let's take a coach here. All right, and we're asking. But they didn't huddle, did they? Well, oh, they don't have to. And there's, uh, you know, you don't have to, but the guy was leaving the huddle. That's what the coaches were saying. Oh, that guy going out. Yeah, he almost went out. Yeah. You know, and you know, don't, you know, not to get too technical, but you cannot huddle up and then run off the field because that, that negates, you know. Back when I was a kid. Oh, back then. That used to be one stand of the big plays. Yeah, we get a sideline and they said, guys, oh, hey, where do you go, buddy? What are you doing? You got too many. Get out, get yeah, out. Yeah, right. They see you know that guy running for a pass. Yeah, next to <laughs> where do you come from? <laughs> Somebody would hide next to the coach and go in, and, and they did away with all that. No problem. They did away with all that, don't it? So, we used uh, to do that at the house. Hey, say you're going home. Uh, yeah, say you're going hey, home. Yeah, going home. And yeah, see right. there, and at the last second, you turn up field and right uh, past the old tree. Touchdown! <laughs> oh, oh, my God. Back Here we go. Day. It's come a long way. Here we go. It's going to be third and 11 coming up. 10-22 left in the ballgame, which they're knocked up at 21. Fans have come alive, don't it? Uh-oh. They're doing the we will, we will rock you. As you can hear it, the thunder trips the right. It's going to be a blitz. Can the Cougars get there? And they do get there. Oh, it's a blitz. Great job. yards on the play. It'll be fourth and Flipping Osano's place. Flip Osano. Flip What the heck's doing? But it's really a night crew. Thursday night crew. Flipper okay. on Rogers. All right, brother. On Rogers. Rogers right. Right. I can't tell everybody where Flipper lives, but he lives in that area. So a little shout out going out to the Thursday night crew. They're tuned in and they're watching. They're hearing us. They're watching the game, and of course, they always tune in to Cats TV 17 and ValleyCentral.com. Oh, 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 somebody! Oh, this time it's the Raiders. Bag. The Raiders turn to give some cookies and milk to the Cougars. They're going backwards after they were already. Yes, yeah, sir. You're right about that. Now they're going backwards. So now it's going to take them back, and it's going to be a nine and forty-five. You know what? I want to take my hats off to Coach Garza, Coach. Uh, Lopez, yes, sir. We had the uh, uh, AD, uh, assistant we had athletic problem, director. We had a little fire here in the back, and they took care of it quickly. Nobody even knew nothing that happened. A bunch of professionals run the show. Yes, Let's sir. Say. Exactly, Pablo. I mean, that's what I was trying to say. And, you know, combined, those two are looking at 50 years Ladies plus in the school district. Wow. Yeah. And, uh, at least 55. Hey, I don't feel that old. No, you're not that old. From the really. Cougar defense. All right, hey, they came through. They stopped them. The fans are fired up. And no, the offense to get fired up. So a special good. teams miscue. No. That was no more than a 15-yard punt. Yeah, yeah, yeah. All right. First one for them. That's right. Yes, sir. All right, so it'll be first and 10. Cougars. Cougars. We're down to nine and a half left in the ball game, ladies and gentlemen. It is the North Cougars 21 and the Raiders from Rivera 21. It's Cougar first down, ball at their own 33-yard line. Pablo. Look at twins left if you're the Raiders to the wide side of the field. Quarterback in the shotgun, motion coming across the formation. He stops right there next to the tackle. It's going to be a pitch. And they got some good blocking, don't it? They got a little bit of room. Oh! It, they're almost with a hole. But I'll tell you, a good little game, two or three. Yeah, we're going to give him one, two, 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 two yards on the play. Don't it? We got Sam Marcus is still listening in the still house. Still listening? Yeah, we got Sam hey, you Marcus. You know what that says, Pablo? And, and not because it's me and you talking or whatever, but that says that they're enjoying the show and they haven't turned us off. So hey, don't it? I have. You know, that's the, that's, there's no other way to look at it, baby. That's the only way because... I mean, I mean, hey, thanks a lot for tuning in, and uh, hope you tuned in every night when we're out. We got 17 more games to go. Thank you, Donut. Double twins means two receivers left, two receivers to the right. Shotgun, the snap is up. He's got time. He's going to throw it. And he overthrows. Maybe a little miscommunication because I think he, he got tied up. He got held. That's what he's saying right there. And he's, But uh, no call was done, but it was a second and seven. They went for a long pass. All right, hold on, hold on. Well, there is a flag. Defensive. Yeah, it was. There we go. Cougar right. catching a few right breaks. Now, what happened hey, on that play? Now, Paul. Yes, sir. Talk about flags. That's a good flag. You were beat. He did that stop and go. He was beat. So, all he had to do, all he could do was, you know, grab his jersey. With a given 15 instead of, uh, you know, Seven, 65. Six points or whatever. You're right about that, Donna. Very observant of you. What he's talking about, ladies and gentlemen, is that, that the defensive back was beat. And he intentionally grabbed him. He, he stopped him from running his route. He's going to be penalized, but it's better to give him 15 and 65, and they're going to move those chains. It is first and 10 ball at the 49-yard line. Cougars are now on the Raiders' side of the field. Headed to Whiteside. He runs into a wall. Nowhere to go. 
Raiders defense is showing up on the run. Cougars are trying to find. Can we pass here? Can we run there? I'll tell you what. It's a step, it's a step one right now. Now, loss of two, don't it? Yeah, lost of two yards. We're down to under eight and a half left, ladies and gentlemen. It is Cougars 21, Raiders 21. You're listening to Team Donut and Paul. It's Donut Salinas and Paul Osbury. We have a good one here tonight at Edinburgh Cat Stadium. Special thanks going out to Cat TV. That is KATS Channel 17. Double twins, two receivers on both sides of the formation. They're going to blitz. Here comes the Raiders. Can he get it off? He does a nice little hook. That's a good. What, the, what that hook means is the receiver runs, you know, depends on the yards. I mean, seven, seven yards. That's a timing play, don't it? The quarterback was already in the process of throwing the ball before the returner, the, re the receiver turned around. And uh, if it's time, right, there you have it. A Pick up of eight yards. Third and four. Short four, call it. And it's Cougar football. They're at the 43-yard line of the Raiders. You're right about that, don't it? Uh, good call. As that's a good little play because that's that's a conservative play, uh, you know. Most of the time you're gonna catch that seven yards later. It's third and short. Double twins. Here comes a blitz. Can he get it off? He's got to throw it, and he cannot. And the Raiders have done the exact same thing to the Cougars and blitzed, and it is fourth and long. And I'm sure they're gonna put it on. And but Paul, I, I mean, I would have rolled out or done something to give you an option to either pass it or. or or, you know, a short pass, a long pass, or run with it or something. Uh, when he kept him in the pocket, he tried to get out of it. It was too late. Well, that's that's quite observant of you, Donna. I mean, I, I can actually relate to the good old the little Brewster Longhorns. Most of the time, our quarterback rolls out. So if, the, right. if it's not open, then you give the quarterback the option of running. Uh, but, you know, no telling what the Cougar off the coordinator saw, but bottom line was good stand, good defensive stand by the Raiders. The punt is up. It's a high wobbler. Is it going to be fielded? It is. Oh, he caught it while losing his balance. I don't think anyone more nervous than that returner right there. He caught it on his knees, ladies and gentlemen. Mm -hmm. So it's going to be first and 10 for the Raiders. We got 642 left in this game, ladies and gentlemen. Paul. Yes, sir. He, it's a tough one. He, do we have overtime? Do we go overtime? Yes, uh, sir. We do go overtime. Yes, sir. Both teams will get the ball 25 yard line and they'll get the opportunity. Uh, four downs. All right, here we go. Yes, well, wait, for right now, there's still a lot of time left, ladies and gentlemen. I'm just looking at what might happen. For right now, 6.42 left in the game, and it's Cougars 21. Raiders 21, first and 10. Ball at the 15 yard line for the Raiders. Oh, they could be running off the. They're going to do a play action pass. He's got time. He's, in the, he's gonna throw it, he's got a man open in the middle. I don't know if they're gonna catch. No, no, he dropped the ball, incomplete. Incomplete, quarterback took a hit on that play and the Cougars uh, let him know, uh, you know, introduced himself right to throw. Pablo, yes, sir. you're running it through the right side like the way you said this, and you could see it from up here. Why change it? I don't know, uh, you know, what we're talking about, ladies and gentlemen, is, you know, through formation, sometimes you have an advantage by virtue of where the other team lines up and up here clearly, we could see that the Raiders had an advantage if they were to run to the left side, but they decided to throw it. Yeah, here we go. Stop the clock with uh, 6.36 left. Second and 10 coming up. Ball at the 15-yard line. Most that is another own 15. Advantage Raiders. Ooh. And Hello. great job. What a defensive. 93. Oh, my gosh. Andy Trejo making a well, great play. One of the better plays of the night. What a what, time to come Robert up with a better play. What a great time, don't it? With six-something left. Pinned way back in the Raiders' own backyard. Trejo, Trejo making a loss of quite a bit. Loss of two yards, so it's going to be a third and 12 coming up. Bend, but don't break. Bend, but don't break. What? Break, but break. Or bend, bend, but don't bend anymore. Or what? Make the noise. You're killing me, Thanks a lot, buddy. I'm having a great time. That's right, don't it? Here we go. Two receivers the pass again. Right. It's going to be a pass. The Cougars are blitzing. Oh, oh what a great time by Paul. I'll tell you what, I don't know if they but they had a corner blitz. Don't Have they ran that play? Yeah, nearly had, no, sir, I've not seen that play. What happened? I don't know if they knew that the corner blitzed. So what happened is the safety has to come over and cover for him. But if you if you get to him quick, you find a space, you find a void. And it was unbelievable timing for the Cougars to blitz and for the Raiders to come to that exact same area. Great, you know, it was good on good. That's what I got to say. All right, so then we're going to do this. Move those chains. That'll pick up a first down. He went out of bounds. It'll stop the clock. We're at 548. Now it is first and 10 ball at the 29-yard line. Quite a very aggressive for flag. the Cougars to, to have a, a secondary blitz. Now what happened on that play? Wave the flag. Wave the flag. 
Yeah. Flags everywhere. Yeah, timeout. So he calls a timeout. On that play, though, what you had was uh, if a secondary guy blitzes, then someone should come over and take care of his man. But the guy that was supposed to come over came over too late. So they broke. They 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 bent quite a bit. Ay, me duele, maldito. La espalda. La espalda. Yeah. So, you know, uh, Bottom line was the Raiders had the point of attack at the exact same spot where the weakness of the defense was. So call it coincidence, call it good play, call it bottom line. We're eh, we have ourselves a good ball game done. Yes, we're under six minutes left. That's 548 on showing on the clock. It's the Edinburgh North Cougars 21. And the Bronzo Rivera Raiders, in case you're just joining us, you're missing a good one, ladies and gentlemen. Again, Paul, you so. can see this game anytime. What do you, you mean? You mean you can watch it here? Tomorrow? Uh, you can watch last week's game? Yesterday? You can? No. You can see any, any game you you uh, no, you do work. Work. Well, you back here. All you do is go to VanCenter.com, go to sports, and go to the game that whenever day it happened, and you can see it. Should you want to see other games in the Valley? More yeah. welcome to. We're doing 114 games, Pablo. There we go. Off the right tackle. So, ho, good job. Good tackle. He's fixing his helmet, but I'll tell you what, uh, Joel Perales, yeah, good job to close up that hole quick. Pick up a three. It'll be a second and seven well, coming up. Ball at throw, 33 yard line. Pablo, we're doing, Valley Central is doing 114 games. Wow. That's a big operation and well run operation, by the way. I missed your channel. Great job, boys over there, Channel 4. <laughs> Lee Chan. Mr. Channel. Lee, give me a call. This is Donut Lee. Give me a call when you get a chance, buddy. Here we go. All right, look at split left, split right. Quarterback's getting a little extra conversation with his guy. It's not sure That's why. a little guy in the back. It is a little guy. Hard to see. And it's a play action pass. He's being pressured. He can throw it. Oh. He's hit. Oh, really? We had a guy wide open. And what happened was the quarterback's arm was hit at the moment of the throw. Quarterback's saying he hit my helmet, he hit my head, but uh, coach, I mean, referee Fred Gracia saying he hit the shoulder. That's right. Good explanation. If it wasn't, you know, like I tell my kids, did he make the call? Okay, then it didn't happen. So let's go. Next play. Vamos. <laughs> I mean, as simple as that. <laughs> oh, he was out of bounds. Did the ref tell he was? He wasn't. Then he wasn't. That's it. <laughs> All right, looks like woo, the crowd, it looks it's like thunder. Is it thunder? No, it's the stands. They come alive for the defense. We got a, we have a drop back pass. He got a bat over the middle. Here's, here's, here's. He's on the 40. He's on the 30. And he's down. Cougar ball with 449 in the fourth. <laughs> Take over Pablo. It's going to be Cougar football at the 31. You know, Cairo, the new teacher. Oh, I said, I died, man. Great job. I did Howard in the house. Congratulations going out to Cairo. Became, becoming a teacher this year for the first time for her in her career. She's 22 years old. Whoa, what's going on? That's green. Started, oh, started, started teaching ghost. at uh, Eisenhower third grade. Eisenhower Jaguars. Wow. Awesome, man. So a great Carl, job, hey, Thanks for tuning in, Carl. I hope you're tuning in. I don't know who you're with. I'm sure it's Marcos. Shout out going out to Marcos, to all the Marcos family, to Jacob, his little sister, all the the Jacob family. Uh, I hope you all are tuning in. But, Carl, I love you. I have a great future. Mama. Quick pass. All he needs to do is make one move, and he does. And he's got a total of three yards. That's already a first down. Oh! It's a move. Great job by Mr. Michael Cantu. And they're going to move those chains. So with 440 left, they're going to start the clock once they set the chains. It's going to be first and 10 for the Cougars. And quickly, they're at the 15-yard line. Slow down. Slow down a little. Yes, sir. I'm, I'm wishing they'd slow down. Slow down a little bit. Run the clock. We still got 19. Yeah, 19, 18. Run the clock. The twins. Quarterback in the shotgun. He's asking for the ball. And it's going to be a quarterback keeper. And it's a nil. That's a great job. What I saw by the Raiders defense was he was trying to strip the ball. That's good on good. Uh, four yards. Uh, we'll take four yards, don't it? Yeah, and we'll take the clock and run it. Let's go, baby. Run, run the clock. Run the clock. Four we'll be under four minutes before they start this next play. And it's still Edwin North Cougars 21 and the Raiders 21. Hold on one more time. And I'll say one more time. Happy birthday, Mama. I love you. Yeah. Let's get, let's get any better. Happy 79 from all of us, Mama. From myself, Kyra, Kayla, and Edith. And of course, all your daughters and their families. Happy birthday, Mama. I love you. Double twins. Quarterback's feeling threatened. He oh, goes outside. Never give up. 
Never develop. He never uh, developed. And I'll tell you what, Donna, the reason that didn't develop, give credit to the defensive The defender end. made him ready. He read it. He saw it, and he was waiting for it. And the quarterback, also credit to the quarterback for overthrowing him. So, in other words, no one's going to get it. It was a disrupted play. Let's overthrow him and live for another play. Third and six. Third and six, and Do the clock has stopped. you the field, or are you just trying to pick up the first down on that area? I'm, I'm not thinking field. I'm thinking I want to get a first down without a score, and then you deal with the field goal, field goal next. Uh, right now, I'm thinking, what play do I have in my pocket that'll give me six yards? You want to hold them on? You got to open it up. I think you're talking about the wide side of the field, don't it? We'll see what happens. They got go. twins. Quarterbacks in the shotgun. It's going to be a run. A court, no, it's going to be a quick pass in the middle. He caught it. He caught it. But it's two yards short. That's a great catch. I'll tell you what. Yeah. I mean, that's a nifty hands. Don't got a number. Two again? No. 25? Um... Is it 25? Yes, sir. Justin Garza. That was really a great grab. It looks like they're going to go for the field goal, don't it? And that's probably the wise decision. You know, you got a defensive battle. He's pretty close. It's almost a, just a, a little bit extra than an extra point. All right, we better get a good kick. Like, with this, you better get a good kickoff and don't let him set up a good field position. We got to go. Auto, take us to it. 308. 305 and counting. Mm. Plenty of time. The hold is good. And he might have pulled it, don't it? What happened, ladies and gentlemen, and I, again, I, I'll, see, I'll say this, uh, you know, week after week, the kicker got ahead of himself, don't it? He wants to see, the kicker wanted to see where the ball was going. When you lift up your head, you lift up your toe. When you lift up your toe, you hook the ball. And, give, you know, what happened was the kicker was a little bit nervous. He wanted to see. Good technique, don't it, is for you to keep your head down through the kick. And he did not. tell you if it's good or not. Like, the, like you say, did he say it was good? Then it's good. That, that's right. Did he but say it was, it was, no. No, no. He was waving his arms. That means it wasn't good. That's it. <laughs> So we need a defense stance by the Cougars. Again? Uh, no, uh, another one. Bend, but don't bend even more. What? You probably not break. Break, but don't something. Here we go. Double twins. Raiders in the shotgun. And the snap is up. It's going to be a pass. He's got plenty of time. He surveys the field. He's flushed out of the pocket. He throws his man short. He it may or may not have caught it. He's giving him the catch donut. Wow. Nifty little grab, a gain of seven. And he went out of bounds and stopped the clock, so it's going to be 250 left and pick up of seven yards. It'll be second and third coming up for the Raiders. We're down to 250, ladies and gentlemen. The Cougars just missed a, a field goal with a, a little over three minutes, 302, 303 left. So it gave the Raiders a ball, and now they got a second and three coming up. Ball at their own 27-yard line. Pablo. Give credit to uh, Danny Elizondo. He's having a good game tonight, making a, a bunch of very good decisions for the Raiders. Give credit to you. Good job to you, young man. Blitz up the middle. He's being flushed out of the pocket. He has a little bit of room and a nifty run. I'll tell you, very athletic. We just finished talking about that man right there, uh, young man, Danny Elizondo. He, he should have a good year, man. I'll tell you, a very athletic play uh, to hurdle that man. I'll tell you what, it's a first down, don't it? And they're going to move those chains. chains. Got a good defensive battle here. Got a good, you know, good game, don't it? And I'll tell you what, uh, Ellie, give credit to Ellie Zondo uh, because that was all here. All right, here we go. It's going to be first and 10, like Paul says. Paul at the 31 yard line, 243 left. We're still locked up at 21. They're in a cover three. That means you can expect three guys to cover the deep pass. If it is a deep pass, for the humble! And Google! Give me five, baby! Wow! You wanted a break, and you got a break! Christmas again? Ah, uh, yes. I can open two gifts, Dad. Go ahead, Mejita. Open another gift, and you can open the rest tomorrow night. All right, so here we go. The fans on their feet. Hey, the defense, I tell you, Pablo. All I can Man. say is, I'll tell you what, great job no. by the defense. The very aggressive. Kick, if you're the kicker and you just missed yeah, one, you're probably saying, you must, must get it. it. Another <laughs> That's a little text max. All right, it's going to be first and 10. Cougar football, 238 left. Ball is at the 26-yard line of the Raiders. I wish I could run down there. I would tell Coach Sign, tell your kicker, please keep your head down, and he will kick it through. Here we go, double twins. Blitz up the middle. It's a good time for a pitch. He got turned running. He got turned inside. I'll tell you what, I got to give credit where credit due. Angel Espinosa, the linebacker coming up field, don't he turned the run inside. Oh, they're bringing the house. What do you got to call? Right Something side, underneath? Or? The the what well, can you call, man? They're on it before. I mean, they're lucky they didn't pick up the pitch. Fortunately or unfortunately, that's a slow developing play, don't it? And if you have, 
and if you if you have the other team blitzing, it's it's you know they might have taken you out of field goal range. That's there. They are out of range at this time, don't it? We need something here. We're gonna see what they come up with with second and very long. Here coming a blitz again. He throws it. He had to throw it quick, and he was not able to get a good throw on it. He had to throw it before his man was able to make his break. Look at that third and Lynn Samuel. Incomplete. Oh my God! What That's right. OMG. 158 left. 158 left. Now done it. Okay. Question for you, sir. Do you do you just get a play and try to get him into range? Yes. Do you? I, I don't mean, go for the first down. If I get him to right. the 23, uh, 22, right. uh, right. let's, let's uh, a little screen in the middle, give him 10 yards, a little closer, go for the field goal, keep your head down, we'll find out. Trips to the right, it's a blitz up the middle, he's got time, no, yes! He makes the catch, don't it? That's a good play, but no gain. What do you do, don't it? That's too far, Paulo, you took it at a... Well, I don't know my kicker, man, I'm not... He's gonna try okay, it. Okay, I'm gonna, I'm gonna, they're sending him out. Uh, this is this is all he's got. This is going to turn into uh, about a 51-yarder, don't it? And I'll tell you what: if, if anybody down there knows their has their knows their salt and special teams, you need to tell this young man: keep your head down to keep your toe down, don't it? 51 and a half yards coming up. Try for the Cougars. What? 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 Already? Who is making the call? Making the call. It's good. Down the middle. Get up. Oh, yeah, he can return. Back. He can, he return, can it. return it. He can just ask Auburn if he can return a kick. A field. <laughs> <laughs> yes, sir. And uh, you know, good on good. Maybe uh, maybe a little bit out of his range. But I'll tell you what. Bottom line was <laughs> the, the coach for the Raiders should have said, "Look, I, I know you watched the Auburn game last year against Alabama, but let it go so we can get the ball at least on the 20." And they took it out to the 10. So they have 90 yards to go. A minute left. 88 yards, Pablo. It's 12 yards on this part yard, the sorry, uh, uh, One minute, Pablo. Do you take a chance here? And, and you, you want to throw an interception? You want to fumble or something? Or you want to go to overtime? No, no, timeouts. They each have one. What can you do with that? I, I, I would bet the Raiders are going to come out gunning here, don't you? All right, here we go. Again, it's not a district game. And the Cougars in a uh, uh, prevent uh, defense. So expect some short passes. And that's exactly what we saw. That's a little 10 yard hook. Uh, great, that's a conservative throw, okay? It's not a bomb. Uh, a very high percentage completion or a very high percentage incompletion, which means another bottom line, the other team probably can't get the ball. But we're looking at only now a few you seconds. Now you another incomplete, and then you don't get the first down the goose. I, like, I like where you're going with this, Don. I like what you're saying, ladies and gentlemen. You gotta keep in mind that an incomplete pass means the clock stops. Right. Now you do want to throw the ball, but if it's not caught, you basically have given the Cougars a timeout. Yeah. So. And they have one more. So I, I'd look for him to throw one more time. One more? One oh more. God. And then expect a run or two. And it is a run. Yeah, he's he's got did. nowhere to go. And he's got swarm. Got and it looks, it looks like with the ball is 17 down looks like the Raiders are content to go into this with overtime. As the clock is running, under 43 seconds left. And looks like both sides are content to let this clock run, don't it? The Cougars have one more timeout. Timeout. Who time used it? They did. They used why the timeout. Why would you do that? And not only why would you do that, why would you let 10 more seconds? Call it early or don't? So the, oh, the Raiders yeah. let 10 additional seconds run off the clock before they call a timeout. Bottom line is they did call a timeout. So apparently this third and three is pretty important, don't it? Yep. Because if, if, you, don't it, if you don't get it, timeout, Cougars. If you don't get it, now. You don't get it. Timeout Cougars, do you go for the block or you set up for a run back? Well, we already saw what happened earlier. I don't think, uh, I'm sure the coach, Coach Sign's head will just explode off the top of his shoulders. I, well, I would I would guess, because they're pinned so far back, though, my guess is that it's probably a running play, and if they stop an immediate timeout and you set up for a good return. Okay, you don't go for the block. No, sir, I set up for a good return. Well, what's a bad snap? Uh, we'd love for that to happen. <laughs> All right, here we go, ladies and gentlemen. We're down to 41 seconds. It's Cougars 21, Raiders 21. You're listening to Team Donut and Paul. That's Donut Salinas and Paul Osbury bringing the action from Edinburgh Cat Stadium. It's 21 Raiders, 21 uh -oh. I see Cougars. the defense is very soft uh, and because it's right for a short pass. And there it is. We called it. The defense was very soft, which is it's easy to give up a short pass on it. And now they're going to move those chains. And they stop the clock while they move the chains. A very, uh, you know, short. They're out of timeouts. Be careful with an interception right here. That's right. 30 seconds left. 
The snap is up. He's got time. He's got plenty of time. He got a man open in the middle. And he mysteriously underthrows him. Clock stops. Second and ten. We got to tell the uh, nail biter. 23 tonight, seconds one. left. 23 seconds. We're still tied up at 21. We're at Edinburgh Cat Stadium with the Edinburgh North Cougars 21. The Bronco Rivera Raiders 21. Cougars in another close one. Last week they had to come from behind. This one we're all tied up late in the fourth. Raiders, double twins. They got a real tall one on the down on the outside over here, don't it? The pass is up. And they throw a quick screen. If he Oh we have an incomplete pass at the very again i gotta get credit to the raiders because if he catches it more than likely he can wiggle himself out of bounds but he dropped it so the clock stops cool. Ooh, what do you do don't it do you run it i'm sending so everybody in because if, if you don't have time Paulo, but if you get him back there okay. you're part or something the defense the secondary is very soft it's right for a quick pass and there it is he makes a catch, oh, and he gets out of God. bounds. Oh, what a catch. What a timing on the play. Well, I mean, everything, that looked professional right there, ladies and gentlemen. And, you know, for the Cougars, you want to bend, don't break. They'll give them, you know, they'll give them 11 yards. Yeah, but how many more of those are you going to give them? Well, they're running out of time, don't it? No timeouts. No timeouts. A very nice uh, 12 and out. Catch the ball, get out of bounds. Good play coming from the Raiders. The ball is up. He's got time. He throws his man. He's going to try to get out of bounds again. He's down. No timeout. The clock is going to. They're going to stop the clock the chains. because they're going to move those chains. We're not giving you a move those chains because we're in a hurry. <laughs> and the Raiders are trying to get the snap off. They're going to try to kill it. That's kill, off. kill, kill. And that's what they're All right, ready? Move those chains. We can't let the clock get across anymore. Did it go off here? Yes, it did. The heater's on. I don't know what's going on. So what you saw, ladies and gentlemen, it wasn't that the quarterback was too scared to throw the ball. What happened is uh, it's basically an, an incomplete pass. They just want to stop the clock. Oh, the door's open. Uh, security. <laughs> All right, here we go. Nice. Basically one more Seven. play on it. Seven uh, seconds. Why Don't not? Play. Raiders are dialing up. What is there a 43-yard play in the pot in the playbook? All right, here we go. Second and ten. And up. And he's going to throw it deep, a quick outside pass, and very nifty play, don't it? Oh, they're trying frugal range. Here he goes. Here we go. Ladies and gentlemen, two seconds left. It'll be about a 54. No, 40. 49. 39, 49, 49 yards. I'll tell you what, great job to the Raiders to get squeak out of the 12 more yards to get a kicker in the range. Not sure. We have not oh, seen why that You know what they're doing? Read it and intercept it and take it all the way. I don't disagree, don't it? And we have a timeout. Time Coach Sides got to ice him. <laughs> Put a yellow. The ice bucket well, challenge on the kicker. <laughs> Good job by Coach Signs, as oh, clearly he's paying attention to so what you have there, ladies and gentlemen. It's not that he necessarily wanted to talk about it. It's that he's, he's just trying to add a little bit more pressure to the kicker. And sometimes it works. Make sometimes him think it about it. Sometimes it's to their advantage. Sometimes it is. Because they were in a rush. They have to get going to come in. So, Pablo, what a game. We have a very good one. You know what, Pablo, just in case they make it and it's over? Let's thank everybody that's making this possible for us. That's Catch TV 17, KTS Channel 17, VaceCentral.com, KGBT Channel 4. Also, the crew up here, Julio Camacho, and Martin Torres, and I'll thank the students in a minute. Here we go, ladies and gentlemen. It's going to come down to this. Two seconds left, 21-21. Trying for a... Oh, he moved up a yard. Look at that. He reset to the 38th. So it's going to be a 48-yarder. Snap it up. It's a good hold. The kick is away. It does not have oh. enough. It doesn't have enough. And he's going to... Oh, he, he stand out of bounds. Come on, for my Lord. He stepped on the white line, ladies and gentlemen. That means you're, in the, you're out of the end zone. Oh. So that's going to end it for 21. the regular time here. That was a good time for an Auburn return. Yeah, right there. A little bit, because I don't think that everybody was ready for him. I didn't even know we had one guy out there. I saw, I saw. Did that. you see him out there? Yes, sir. All right, so we're going to go overtime, baby. 
Third game OT. of the season, 2014 season, and we got an OT game here at Edwards Act Cat Stadium. I'm going to tell you this, Paul Osbury, Paul will put over time. For OT. So we're going to thank the guys here. It's going to be uh, Gilberto Cavazos, Sr., Adrian Cuella, Jr., Jeffrey Garcia. Yeah, who else? Jeffrey Garcia. Who is a uh, senior? Also, Jacob Garza, senior. Raúl Villarreal. What's going on, buddy? A senior. Cesar Vasquez, Leroy Torres, Michael Russell, Nuno Gutierrez, Miguel, and Asea Navarro, Luis Montamayor, and Michael uh, Montalvo. Pablo, pick it up, Pablo. You got it, brother. Good job, Donnie, rattling off the uh, Cat TV crew. You know, it's a mostly student run. Run by Martin Torres and well, uh, Torres and well run operation at that. We have ourselves a nail biter here tonight, ladies and gentlemen. If you're just tuning in, There's you're looking at some bank. overtime. Did to give a shout out to my boy Robert Torres, former Edward Bobcat tight end in the house, listening on Valentine.com. I saw you running today. I know you probably running around the block. Who did we run into here, partner, that you were talking to? When? Right? Oh, that's my. Uh, and he's listening to on his phone. Yeah. Oh, uh, boy, Robert De Los Santos. Robert De Los Santos. Yes, we just couldn't believe what was going on. We put him in tonight. He's, he's, he's given. I don't know. We probably have some people listening in New York. And you spread the word, hey, you can tune in over there at ValleyCentral.com, don't it? We, got it? we just added a few more fans. I appreciate you. Right now, my boy, Robert De Los Santos. Uh, appreciate that. All right, we're going to overtime, ladies and gentlemen. And again, each team will get the ball at the 25-yard line. And again, you can pick up a first down. Uh, you can get two first downs. You got your four possessions. If you kick a field goal, the other team can come back and do the same thing, or they can put seven points in the loop. They can go round right. two in OT. Right, and then they'll go another round, and they'll do the same thing. But on the third round, you got to go for two, if I'm not mistaken. It was triple overtime. Uh, I don't, I don't I I believe they have to go for Are you sure on the third? Yeah. Okay, they forced you to go for two. They want to force your hand. It's not that we want to leave. It's that you, the injuries start to pile up and kids start yeah. getting tired. All right, so we're going to decide, I mean, let's see who's going to get the ball first. Who's going to win? Excuse me there, Paul, but yes, we're going to decide who, who's going to, what side of the bowl line we're going to play first. And uh, it's a... Uh, Fred Gracia, the head ref, getting the coaches together. We got the Leon bringing in one of the refs. They're doing basically a coin toss. Who wants to get the ball first? What end zone do you want to, you know, defend? Uh, and so obviously, if you win the toss, you know, you wanna, you wanna have the ball second. You know, you wanna see what you got. So whoever wins the, to whoever gets the ball second, probably won the toss, don't it? All right. Leo, we're going to some extra moving the chains, buddy. Yes, sir. You ready? Yes, sir. I'll tell you what, don't it? In Edinburgh, Cat Stadium, we're 2-0. and Looking at the Cougars going overtime. We hope they win. If you're a fan, you're thinking, Come on, Skittles! What more do you want, baby?